good morning guys it is the start of a new week today is sunday um i'm feeling a little defeated because of something that i did last night but um it's a lesson in that really i didn't hold my word to something that i made a promise to god so like i lost out on opportunity because i did what i told him i wasn't gonna do and I felt like I lost out on a money opportunity because of that. Because I wasn't disciplined enough to hold my word. So, the lesson in that is to literally just have discipline. Um, I'm trying not to beat myself up about it. Because I, I will get in my head and just like start hating everything. Or start just like, yeah. It go down a, a downward spiral. But... Um, I'm gonna let that set the tone for this week. So, I am. I did wake up late. It's 12 o'clock. Um, my hair is still out, but I am. I am. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I love. I just be looking at myself in my, in my mirror. It's like that's why I lose my train of thought. If you don't look at yourself by area, if you don't stop and look at yourself when you see a mirror. You can't be in love with yourself, like. Yeah. Um. Anyways, ooh, let me back up. I mean, you can look at the skin if you want to. Yeah, today I have a business event that I'm going to. So. That should be exciting to learn about financial literacy and grants and what else are we learning marketing and all that type of good stuff so i'm excited networking and look cute take some pictures network <laughs> what else learn okay i need to stop hey y'all so I am all dressed for the event that I'm supposed to be going to and I am late because I thought the event started at 6 to 8 but it's really from 5 to 8 and I literally was cleaning up my whole house and then something just told me to check the time just to make sure I can like just something just told me to check the start times and it said 5 and it was 4 o'clock when I realized that so I had to slap on a wig, put on some makeup, I had a breath, I don't know why but yeah, I had to put on a wig, slap on some makeup. I really wanted to put on my blonde wig, but I thought I had time to like, it still had glue on the lace and stuff like that. And I just, I didn't have enough time, honestly, for that wig. So I just put this one on, which is my favorite color one. I really need to get this um, color in like a very, very long straight, some raw straight hair. But yeah, I just have one, these cargo pants. Um, this white satin top and then it has the back cut out of it um, my black Gucci bag and then these yellow I hate that door so much but it needs yellow heels and that's what we're wearing I had a whole nother like blazer outfit picked out that was way more like you know but it's 80 something degrees outside and I'm like, there's no way. There's no way I'm wearing it, like, no. So, I changed, but I'm about to go. I have to get gas, I'm already knowing. I didn't eat and I'm gonna need to get some food because if not, I'm gonna be real upset on the way there. And the place is 30 minutes away from me. And it's 4.54. I have food in here, but I have to cook if I want to eat anything in here and I just don't have to eat that so I am going to he is big chilling he pissed me off so bad this morning because he could not hold his pee and he peed all in the cage as I'm literally trying to put his leash on so he can go outside use the bathroom so my dog no longer has a cage in my house because I'm tired of cleaning up a pissy poopy cage like when I first moved in my spot he wasn't even peeing or pooping I feel like he knew it was a new spot and he knew like this is not like is this my new home like i don't know what i don't want to do anything in here but now he just been marking his territory and just nah he been tripping so 
I took his cage away because, you know, poop and piss linger smell. And my apartment didn't smell like poop and piss, but it's just the fact that he was comfortable doing it in that specific area, which was his cage. So I broke down his cage. He doesn't have one anymore. The area is now clear because that's where it was over there. And I'm just about to retrain him without a cage because, no. He, I really think he'd be doing it on purpose to be spiteful. Like, yeah, now that I think about it, he don't have no cage and I kind of need him to, I'm gonna just put him in my room. Come on, up. I'm gonna just put him in my room and close my door because if I don't, he's gonna stand by my front door and just bark and stuff. Honestly, y'all, uh, upset, like angry. Get out! Upset and angry is not even a word to explain this. Cause I'm too pissed off right now. And I just feel like, if I touch my dog, I'm gonna really hurt him. I'm just I'm gonna just have to go I'm gonna get I'm gonna have to give y'all story time tomorrow I'm, so y'all I just finally cleaned up that big mess um I really had the lights off so that the vibes was set for me to go to bed real peaceful but um I am currently about to go to bed on this hard ass mattress because my dog chewed up my memory foam topper that goes to my bed. If you've, not a lot of people been over my house, but my mom has slept in my bed and my homegirl says he has slept in my bed. And I've had this memory foam topper that he chewed up for about a year or two now, two years. I have been, I've ran through like two of them, but this very last one I had on my bed was the most expensive one that I had and the thickest like topper inch that um, you can get if you know, you know, like my bed is the most comfortable thing in the world, or at least it was. I'm so sad. Like, my bed was my favorite part of my house because of that topper. Like, my bed. I'm smiling, but I'm really not. There's nothing funny. I put him in my room instead of leaving him out in the living room because he sleeps in my room every single night without a problem. My dog has never in his life, <laughs> in this apartment at least, never. For the, how long have I been living here? Six months? He's never jumped on my bed, ever. Like he's never jumped on my bed. I feel like it was a safe space for me to leave him in my room within not in a cage because he sleeps in my room every night. He sleeps on the ground in his dog bed, no issues. Even when I sleep throughout the night, he's never attempted to jump on my bed because he knows better. So I leave him in my room and I close my door. And I came home and I seen how my room looked in that clip and I just yeah y'all might not think it's a big deal but it's a big deal to me like that's crazy for you to tear up that topper like that and then that's not even it I'm going to clean up the, the pieces and I'm looking throughout my covers and my blankets and stuff because First off, I was washing my sheets. So when I came home, I expected to go to sleep so peacefully because I have fresh sheets, smelling good. Like, when I wash my sheets, as y'all see my clean with me, I be steaming my sheets. Like, my my baby feeling so good. Like, that's the thing. I'm so big on my space. Like, and I, like, literally, I invest in everything. 
So I'm looking throughout the, the, the area and I'm seeing fucking pee stains. Like not only did he tear it up, this man peed on my topper on my bed and peed on my white sheets. First off, my sheet set is from Brooklyn. If you know, you know. I had to throw that away. Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck. Truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages. Presidential suite on deposit. Elevator up to the room. Shower up and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, Chuck, to look around. Find one to see my type. Damn, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet this girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Got a real credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing, though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Baby, I love you. What's up, y'all? I went to the gym this morning. I did not get to do a full workout routine, so if you watch that and you like, this girl barely worked out, I didn't have enough time to, so don't, don't eat me up in the comments. Like, don't eat me up, because I really do be working out like full on. I did legs, because I didn't feel like doing a full body, because that was just, I didn't, I just didn't want to go that hard in the gym, honestly. Like, I didn't want to go that hard. I'm gonna keep it real. So, I did legs, but I didn't get to do the complete workout that I usually do for legs because I did not have enough time to I have my appointment at 11 and yeah I got in the actual I got to the gym and like at, I just didn't have enough time to I am on my way back home but before I go home I'm gonna stop by Publix and pick up some items for me to cook tonight I don't know exactly I'm a pasta girl I love eating pasta so it's like it's like I feel like I want pasta but I should make some rolled lasagna, some lasagna rolls. I haven't made that in a while and I have so many, I have so much ground beef in my freezer and so much lasagna noodles. Yeah, today's a fun day. I'm gonna go get pick up the items that I need to pick up and then go home and start working on content. I don't know if I'm much, I don't know if I wanna do it in my apartment, if I should go to my um, amenities area and actually like get a different setting so that I can like actually work. We'll see though, we'll see, we'll see, yeah. What's up y'all? It is a new day. I am currently right here outside. Hold on, let me let the lighting go. It's not gonna focus, but it's okay. I'm currently outside waiting for my food. I had a I had a doctor's appointment this morning. 
have a client later on, but I didn't eat this morning. So, well, I had a protein shake, but I just stopped at this place to give me a chicken wrap and some fries for my client in like 30, 40 minutes. But yeah, today is nothing special, honestly. Um, I'm probably going to spend the rest of the day. I only have one client today, so I'm probably going to spend the rest of my afternoon catching up on content because I honestly ran errands that mo yesterday morning and then I took a nap. I woke up from my nap and I did edit a YouTube video, but I did not post it because it was like 10 o'clock by the time it uploaded and I just felt like it wasn't, I wasn't gonna get enough engagement, which I probably would, but I'm gonna just post it today. But I didn't do a lot of content yesterday, so I'm gonna spend today doing that. And I'm not supposed to really be doing that because Mondays is a strict content days, but I have time today, so I'm gonna do it today. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just outside waiting for my food because it's so pretty out here. Besides the, con besides the construction that's going on, it's just, it's a little area over there. It's just a cute little view. So I'm outside catching the breeze, getting some sunlight, all that good stuff before I go to my car. Good morning, y'all. It seems like I haven't picked up the camera in like a couple of days. I haven't, but, um, yeah, I just came back from the gym. I need to stop looking up there and look right here. But I just came back from my hair. The fact that I'm even on camera like this is crazy. Where do you think you're going? What? So now I'm a prisoner too. My dude, you literally, <laughs> you literally peed in so many spots on my car. Oh my freaking gosh, and you don't even want to look at me. You don't even want to look at me, bro. Oh my gosh, look what my dog is did. Broke my dog. <laughs> Pooped on my carpet. Like, do I cry or? First off, my hair is not even finished. Um. There's so much going on right now. So y'all, I didn't even give y'all an update because I was too pissed off earlier. Um, My hair is not done. Um, I have like 10 left and then the actual ends of my hair are not curly. Like, see the curl pieces? They're not curled at the ends, it's like it looks a mess, but that's because I was late to my appointment this morning and my stylist was like, I could still, oh, I need to write down, I need to get tissue. My stylist was like, she could still take me, of course, but she has a client that was flying in and out that same today. So whenever her client got there, she was gonna have to stop and take me after her client. Cause her client was like literally catching a flight after her hair was done. So I'm like, that's fine. Cause I'm off today. It is what it is. Like, I'm not that difficult. I was late. I gotta accommodate you, so.
what's up y'all my hair is done as you can see um i have it clipped up so that it's not in my face for real but mm. yeah just so y'all can see a little bit better yeah y'all get the gist of it my hair I got it finished. I don't even know if y'all know, but I literally, I went. She finished at, what? She finished her client at 1.30 a.m. She told me, um, I don't know, it's a long story. This is really a long story, but I ended up going to her this morning to have her finish my hair. I had a travel client who's calling me Ugh. somebody's always calling me hello hey no hold on one second oh you, you say you're working right now what was i saying um uh, boom i had a travel appointment today at 10 so i went to that after i got my hair done let me show y'all erica's hair because it was so cute mm. y'all see that she looks so good half up half down for the girls yes let me zoom in hit hit the hit the photo with a zoom Y'all see it, no filter, no edit, straight out the camera roll. Literally, straight out the camera roll. No edits. So yeah, that's what today is about. Um, there's plans that were made in the air, but I decided not to go because I'm on a whole no alcohol and no club type of fasting for the rest of the year. So that I can sacrifice that and get what I, something I, a couple of things I've been manifesting in return. So, I decided not to go to that because I know I'm going to be tempted to drink liquor. And I don't want to, I failed the test last week. So I want to, you know, give myself a redo. And just keep trying to have discipline. Yeah, look out for, or if you, if you didn't watch my Houston vlog, that's this video. Go ahead and watch it. Because... This vlog was funny. <laughs> like, I didn't record every single thing to the T. But from what I did record, like, I show my personality a little bit more. So, yeah. Y'all watch this video. This week I started going back to my gym that I used to go to when I lived with my mom. So I'm back in like my old side of town, which is an hour away from the city. Yes, I've been driving that far to go work out at 7.15 in the morning. Well, workouts start at 7.15. I've been waking up at like 5.40. But it's been like therapeutic. Like it's literally a mini road trip that I take and then I go work out and then a mini road trip back home. So like on the way there, I'm really just vibing, listening to music. Yeah, but I went and I stopped by a nutrition shop because the one that I used to go to is temporarily closed. So I went to another one and they're okay. They were okay. The shake is okay. The tea is good. But it's a protein shake. And then it's not 
lips chap maybe and then i got a tea the teas are like energy teas they work so good they're herbalife products and i've been on herbalife products for like a year um that's how i'm keeping my weight up and trying to gain weight and being healthy my dad was on herbalife when i grew up and i never really knew what it was but um i just started getting into it a year a year ago and they work honestly i said i was gonna make a whole video about like nutrition and working out because i be having gains i just don't be as consistent to really like have those gains build like more and more but i've been consistent <laughs> these past two weeks i'd be good for like two weeks in the gym then i'll go out of town and then i take a week off and they just be like i come back and get off routine but i've been good these past two weeks like drinking my shakes and just in the gym but yeah me just riding through the right three lanes me riding through this area that i used to live in like this whole area is just I get two thoughts when I think about this area. One thought is I just like, it's so crazy to think that some people never move out of this area. Like they stay here, they graduate their high school in that area and they stay here. And there's nothing wrong with staying, but it's just like, this is such a small part of the world. Like this area is just country. It's really not that, it's not that country to me cause I grew up over here, but compared to the city it's, just, it's country and it's just like the boondocks <laughs> so it's like the think people really stay here and just like live like an average type of like you know like life and it works for some people but it's just like crazy and yeah they may travel but it's like it's just crazy like some people really just stay here they don't ever want to move away they just want to stay in this little small area and then the second thought that i get is like damn like i really that's why I grew up. Like, I'm out here in the city making it happen, but making shit happen for real. Like, at 20 years old, like, that's crazy to me. Like, I'm only 20 years old, y'all. Like, I'm only 20 years old. I tell myself all the time, like, at 22? <laughs> I can't even imagine me at 22. I know I'm gonna be elevated, like, I know I'm gonna definitely be elevated in a whole different way, but I feel like the way I'm gonna be elevated is unimaginable. Like I've done so much, mm, I've done so much for myself in just a year. Accident like, miles excuse me, everything that I manifested last year, I've gotten this year. So like everything I'm manifesting now, it's like some big, big shit. Like I'm, like I'm asking for a lot. I'm manifesting big shit. Like. Like, yeah, real big, like, aim and dollar amount. Like, just the stuff that I see for myself is big. So, it's like, I know I'm going to get it. Which is why it's just, like, crazy. Because I know everything I want, I'm going to get. You cannot tell me I'm not going <laughs> to. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that everything that I want and I'm trying to achieve, that I won't be able to do. Like, if you told me that, I would laugh in your face. Because it's like, everything I wanted already, I've already gotten. So, it's like, in two years... scared of my own so like i don't know it's just so crazy it's so crazy what's up y'all so i just made it back home i look so refreshed and like fresh i just look so fresh skin just looks clean i look clean i love that for me but i'm sitting here eating my food it's 12 o'clock um i made me some eggs omelet some sausage that's some croissant um i'll put you i'm gonna put y'all onto this it's apricot jam and this on a croissant fire you can get it from like well i got this from Publix, but it's honestly better than grape jelly somebody eat my food because protein it's 12 o'clock like the protein shake was just to start you know start my day but 
yeah, I'm about to eat my food and then I'm gonna head over to um, <laughs> my amenities to edit. I'm gonna go to like one of the office spaces because I honestly can do it in my apartment, but I just need to get out of here just to get my thoughts flowing and just to really be in the like workspace because I can get comfortable sometimes when I'm here. So after I eat, I'm gonna head over there and edit my video for today and just to work on my business stuff. So yeah. Don't let me 